What is up people, Skywalker Hendrix here back with another video for you guys today. And today I am looking at Professor Hugh Yang from the uh, Ahsoka line in the Black Series. This is a figure that we really just got announced not too long ago and he's already uh, showing up in hand here. Uh, and yeah, just a kind of a long overdue figure in my opinion. This is kind of more of an iconic character from the Clone Wars series. But, uh, as we all know, the new media figures, uh, or, you know, the kind of new shows get, um, priority in the Black Series, and so we do have Hu Yang here, um, so either way, happy to have him finally in the line, and, you know, you can throw him on a Clone Wars shelf, you can throw him on a, an Ahsoka shelf, or you get two, and, uh, put him on both, so... Very cool, let's get this guy open. All right, and here is Professor Hu Yang, and this guy looks absolutely amazing, fresh out of the package. And honestly, like, I took him out and set him here just like this. He kind of was already looking kind of, I don't know, like, it's not really a pose, but I feel like I could throw him on the shelf just like this and it'd, it'd be fine. But uh, going over accessories real quick, he does come with the training saber, which is very cool. Um, kind of would have liked to see more than one. Maybe uh, even just two would have kind of been cool. But nonetheless, cool to just have one. We do get his uh, little backpack here with the extendo arms. And uh, I guess they should go this way. And uh, yeah, those are very nice with... We have a couple points. Oh, oh. I guess they, maybe that was the right way then. Uh, we do have the extendo arms here, and those do look nice. You can get those out, and he can have extra arms, kind of like uh, General Grievous. And then last but not least, we do have a nice little data pad here. I would have liked to seen just a little, like, a screen-printed little maybe... Something with, you don't even need to be able to read it, but little numbers and stuff, or, I don't know, something, but, uh, kind of plain, but I guess you would be seeing it more like that, him holding it. So, nonetheless, very cool accessories, and great to see some other things thrown in, because sometimes with these droid characters, you know, they like to just throw the figure in, uh, by themselves, but... Taking a closer look here, this guy does have some very nice paint applications. I can already tell off the bat. His eyes do have a nice, like, gold reflective look, and it just pops. Um, the His little, like, headlamp thing looks very nice. And just all the little paint detail, his wires, all the silver bits... And then when you get down to, like, the leather, like, I guess it's a, like, a tool belt, um, it just looks very good and contrasts nicely against what you would assume to be a metal, uh, figure. So, well, not metal figure, but metal character. Um, and I think it could have been done a little better on, like, the beige parts where you could have gotten that shininess a little more down but uh nonetheless I think he looks absolutely fantastic and he'll look great on the shelf just like this so uh I really don't feel the need uh to customize this guy I know a lot of people were planning on customizing him but I think he looks good um going over articulation real quick his head he does look up about that far up oh, about that far he does look down about that far. Very nice. And he does have some sassy tilt. Of course, you need that that sassy Hugh Yang tilt. Um, he he definitely liked to uh, talk back in the series. And even in the Clone Wars, he was a little sassy. So uh, his arms do go up about that far. You might be able to push it a little more. I don't want to. Because... Uh, Again, with these droid characters, they do have kind of skinny limbs, which means skinny articulation points. His arms do go up about 90, and then he does have swivel there at the elbow as well. 
his wrist does go back and forth and does swivel also. He does have a ball hinge here down at the waist, and that gives you some very, very nice movement as well. Getting under the skirt here. <laughs> Yui Yang's legs do kick up about that far. And back about that far, very nice. And they do go out about that far. And it is that new, kind of an up-close shot of that new... Um, non-swivel, well, swivel, but without the cut, um, thigh articulation, you could call it, I don't know what to call it, um, but it does, it doesn't get out a ton, but it does go in quite a bit, and, um, yeah, I mean, really, like, that's all you really need, and then you get that at the knee, so, like, if you really need to twist his leg, like, you can, and, uh, I don't know, some people act like, like, uh, it's gonna, like, really hinder these, these figures, and I just don't think that's the case, so, um, I think it just lends for cleaner sculpts, and I'm here for it, um, same with, like, the pinless, well, this, this is not the greatest figure for an example, but people that complain about the, the pins and stuff, they want double hinges, and, you know, whatever, I'll take a single hinge all day, every day, it looks better, and it gets close to the same range, so, anyway, tangent over, sorry, I went off, went off the rails a little bit, uh, his leg does, his knee does bend about that far, and again, there is a swivel there, uh, both on the bottom and the top, it looks like, and then his foot does go back about that far, forward about that far, and really, I think this guy, more than other droids we have gotten in the past, I don't know if this guy's going to have trouble standing or not. I have not had really any issue so far, um, but that does not mean he will be perfect, you know, down the line once those joints kind of get moved and loosened up a little bit. But let's get into some comparisons. First up, we do have the HK Assassin Droid, which uh, this particular figure is the Mandalorian version, but I took all the, like, the robe off and all that and just kind of gave him the Electro Staff to make him um, one from the Ahsoka show, and he just goes on my Ahsoka shelf. And we actually did see Hugh Yang uh, kind of box one of these dudes in uh, in one of the episodes, and... That was just a cool scene, so I could definitely see me displaying him next to this guy. Uh, the, yeah, they look good together. And next up is Sabine. And uh, yeah, I never did an official review on Sabine, but I said it in my Merrick uh, review that she is just a really fun figure. And she's actually a lot, has a lot of new parts. Um, and she's just a dope figure. I don't know. But yeah, these guys look great together. And last but not least here, we do have him and Ahsoka. Kind of a dynamic duo of the Ahsoka series. So definitely probably the most prominent uh, display option for uh, these guys. And that is a custom cloak by Daredevil19 Customs on Instagram. All right, and at the end of the day, I think this is a fantastic addition to either of the shelves I mentioned earlier, the Clone Wars shelf, the Ahsoka shelf. Um, also, he holds his uh, data pad just really nicely, and it just looks really good. Um, so yeah, this is a great figure. Uh, he should be, like, I, I've seen this wave hitting... GameStops recently, and GameStops have, like, they've just been, like, secretly balling out and coming in clutch for, like, a few years now for Black Series collectors, so shout out to GameStop, um, but yeah, I know this, this, this whole wave is, uh, just a, a bunch of waves have just been flooding the states here, so really, you guys, I mean, the wait time of getting, like, figures early, like, I get a lot of figures early, 
Uh, the wait time is really, like, I'm only getting figures, like, a month early uh, these days, which is nice. Like, that's good. Um, so, yeah, go look for this figure. He's out there. He's great. Add him to your collection. You won't regret it. Uh, so, yeah, those are my thoughts. Check out some of my other reviews. I do talk about a giveaway. I'm kind of sick of mentioning it. Um, I draw at a 1,000 subscribers. Uh, there will be an official video. I'm super swamped at work this week. Halloween is just a, one of our busiest uh, weekends of the year. So, uh, But I plan on making a video very shortly talking more about that. I'm giving away two Hot Toys, a SH Figure Arts Anakin, and a bunch of Black Series figures. There are ways to enter in some of my Darth Vader reviews, so go check those out. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you want. If you don't, I don't care. Um, I just appreciate you watching my vids. Um, and if you made it this long, you are a real one. A Peace out. Hope you enjoyed the video. May the Force be with you.